Hey there, it's me Eden. Welcome to Eden's Cross-Dressing Stories. Today I'm going to share with you, cross-dressing story called, How Parents Feminized Me, Part 2. So, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing to get a new story every day. And please support my work on Patreon, and get early access of the content. Patreon.com slash Eden07 Link in the comment, thanks. When we walked into the front room, Dad and Janet looked up from putting together a Barbie Corvette that she got from Grandma. Lisa, you look lovely this morning. Why don't you open your presents now, said Dad. Yes. I can't wait to see what you got. Janet was jumping up and down as she squealed this. Janet went to deliver the presents so I sat on the floor and let her bring them to me. First present was a collector Barbie. I smiled a big grin, I had seen this one in the stores and really fell in love with it. Was I that obvious when walking through the toy section with mom? Next came a tea set for four. I knew Janet and I would have a lot of fun with this present. I also got a teddy bear, a comb and brush set, some barrettes and a regular Barbie with three outfits. Janet brought over another box and when I opened it I found three pairs of panties and two pairs of tights one pair white and one pair black. The next box had a pair of Mary Janes in black patent leather and two pairs of anklets. I was very nervous and scared as I opened the last box. I carefully moved the tissue to the side and there sat an emerald green dress with white lace trim around the neck and the arms. Just like the one Janet wore yesterday. It's beautiful, was the only thing I could say. I jumped up and gave everyone a hug, even Janet. This is the best Christmas ever. There really is a Santa Claus. I sat down in the middle of all my new presents and started crying. Dad spoke first, Lisa, we all want you to be happy. This is our way of showing you that we really love you as you are. Now with mom and Janet's help I think it's time for you three girls to get dressed. I'm going to put the turkey in the oven so that we can have dinner sometime today. Honey, just bring your clothes and the brush set. The toys can be put away later. Mom then helped me gather up everything and we three girls headed up the stairs to get dressed. We placed the boxes in the guest room and mom said as she left, keep out the dress, slip, white tights and a pair of panties and lay them out on the bed. I'm going to help Janet get dressed and will be back to help you in a little bit. Mom left and I started to put things where I thought they should go. I left the white panties on the bed and put the rest in the drawer. Then I laid the white tights on the bed and put the black ones away. I placed the shoes next to the bed and put the anklets in the drawer too. Then I took the dress out of the box and walked to the closet for a hanger and hung it on the hook on the back of the bedroom door. I laid the slip on the bed and sat down to wait for mom, thinking about what had taken place so far today. Could I really be a girl for one day? Has my secret been that obvious? I was happy and confused all at the same time. Mom knocked and came into the bedroom. Let's get you ready, shall we? Take off your nightgown and fold it up and lay it under the pillow. I'll turn around so you can change into your panties. I'm glad you picked the white ones, they won't show as readily through your tights. I took off the gown, carefully folded it, and placed it under the pillow as mom asked. 
Then I took the panties and turned around and slipped off my nightgown panties and put on the white ones for the day. I took the nightgown panties and folded them and put them under the pillow too. Mom picked up the tights. Sit here and I'll show you how to put these on. She scrunched up one leg of the tights and told me to put my toes in so the seam lined up with my foot. I did that and she had me carefully slide the material up to just above my knee. Then I scrunched up the other leg the way mom had and repeated the process on my other leg. Somehow I got that leg all twisted, so I had to slide it off and try it again. The second time I did it right. Then I stood up and mom told me to work each leg up until I was able to pull the top up to my waist. I finally got the tights on, smiling the whole time. Mom took the slip and looked at me and said, We're missing something. I'll be right back. She left for a few seconds and came back with a package of girls' t-shirts. These are young girls' camisoles. We need one to go under your slip. I must have forgotten to wrap them. I opened the package and placed two of them in the drawer and put the other one on. They were all white so it didn't matter which one I used. Mom held up the slip and I raised my arms and let it slide down over my body. I was still tingling all over as Mom adjusted the straps so the slip would hang properly. I looked in the mirror on the dresser. I was starting to look like a girl. I turned around and hugged my mom as tight as I could and said, I love you, Mommy. Thank you so much. Mom grabbed a tissue and wiped away my tears. Let's get your hair done so we can put on your new dress. She plugged in a curling iron and sprayed my hair with a spray bottle. She took the curling iron and started going all around the bottom curling it under. My hair was longish. Mom and Dad said it was a beetle cut, but it was about the same as the other boys at school, so I fit in. After she was done with the curling iron she combed my bangs forward and took a green plastic headband and placed it so my hair was held behind my ears but my bangs still fell forward. Time for your dress. Mom took it off the hanger and unzipped it and turned it around and said, Step into it and I'll zip it up for you. I stepped into the skirt portion very carefully. Then I slid my arms into the sleeves and pulled it up to my neck in front. Mom zipped it up for me and had me turn around. Very pretty, but something's missing. Wait here for a minute, I'll be right back. She left me standing there while she went searching for whatever was missing. I walked over to the mirror and smiled. After looking at myself, I couldn't see anything that was missing. There stood Lisa Elizabeth. Mom came back and followed by Janet. Lisa, we have matching a sister addresses, said Janet. She came over and stood next to me by the mirror and sure enough our outfits matched. You two can look at each other later, let's get finished here. Mom turned me around and placed a large green bow in the back of my hair. Then she turned me to face her and she took two angel-shaped clips on earrings and snapped them in place on my ears. A gold chain with a small green stone went around my neck. Okay, now put on your shoes. I did and Mom took some of her skin so soft and told me to use it like perfume on my wrists and behind my ears. Janet complained that she didn't get to do that so Mom let her put a dab on too. Are you ready to show your father his new daughter? 
I'm scared and excited at the same time, Mom. What's he going to say? Let's find out. All Mom replied, and she took my hand and led me out the door. Wait here at the top of the stairs, and I'll call you down in a few minutes. Janet went with Mom, and I was left to stand in the hall and wonder about all that was going on today. Let me introduce the lovely Lisa Elizabeth Smith. I mean Smythe. Mom used her best British accent to introduce me. I smiled and cautiously went down the stairs as gracefully as I could manage. When I entered the front room, Dad stood up and smiled. You look lovely, Lisa. Let's get some pictures of you and Janet by the Christmas tree. Dad must have taken two rolls of film before he put down the camera. He had to stand together, then hold each of our presents, and finally, one of all four of us posed in front of the tree as a family. Amazingly, the timer on the camera worked. You two girls play while Dad and I check on dinner and go get dressed. Mom took Dad, and they left Janet and I in the front room. Lisa, would you like to play Barbie with me? Asked Janet. She started to take out her dream house, and I helped her set it up. We had been playing for about forty-five minutes when the doorbell rang. Lisa, please answer the door. Called Mom. We aren't fully dressed yet. But M O O M, what if it's somebody we know? They'll see me dressed like this. Answer the door. Do you remember reading the note? My mouth was dry and I was shaking as I walked to the door and pulled it open. There stood my grandma and grandpa. Good morning, Lisa. My, but you look lovely this morning. Grandma was smiling when she talked to me. She bent over and kissed me on the cheek. Place these packages under the tree for later, Janet. My sister took the presents into the front room. What? No kiss for Grandpa? Sure, Grandpa. I love you very much too. I hugged him and gave him a kiss on the cheek too. Mom and Dad came down the stairs about this time. Mom was in her matching green dress from yesterday, and Dad was wearing a similar outfit to the one he had on yesterday. I see you have met Lisa already, stated Dad. Yes, and we brought her a couple of presents too. Grandpa had hung his and Grandma's coats in the closet, and they were both sitting in the front room by the Christmas tree. Janet and I sat on the floor playing while the adults talked. Grandma had a smile the whole time. Dinner is almost ready. Would you two girls help set the table? Mom had a way of making you do things, but it felt natural to help with the table. The cooking and dishes, since I was dressed for the part. We all had a very good time at dinner. Mom had to remind me to sit up straight and to cut my food smaller. Also, to use the napkin more often so that I wouldn't get anything on my dress. After dinner, Janet, Grandma, and I helped to clear the table and fill the dishwasher. After it was all cleaned up, Mom looked at us and said, "Let's go open your presents." There were three packages under the tree. Two were for me, and one was for Janet. You go first, Janet. You've been so good to me today. I think it's only fair. Mom nodded her head yes, and Janet opened her present. It was a very nice sailor-style dress in blue, with a large white collar and an anchor embroidered on the bodice. Janet hugged Grandma and Grandpa and said, "Thank you." 
I took the first package and opened it and found a skirt and blouse combination inside. Mom, this will look wonderful with my black tights. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. I gave them each a kiss. I opened the second package and inside was a matching sailor dress to the one Janet got. Now we can be sisters on days that aren't holidays. Exclaimed Janet. You have two more outfits so I get to have a big sister more often. I hugged Grandma and Grandpa and gave them both another kiss. This has been the happiest Christmas ever. Lisa, take all your clothes upstairs and put them away. We'll try them on to make sure they fit later. Janet, go hang up your new dress too. We bounced up the stairs giggling as we went. I hung up my clothes as Mom had told me, then I stopped and looked in the mirror one more time. I pinched myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. It hurt and I didn't wake up. Janet stopped by the guest room and said, Let's go play. We spent the rest of the afternoon playing girls' games and enjoying ourselves a lot. We even got Grandma and Mom to play a old maid. About 6 p.m. Grandma and Grandpa said, Goodbye, and left for home. Mom looked at me and Janet. It's time for baths and nightgowns. Janet will bathe first since Lisa has to try on her new clothes. I went into my room and changed out of the green dress, being careful to hang it up in the closet. Then I put on the sailor dress and went to show Mom. That fits you very nicely, dear. Go try on the skirt and blouse. I went back and hung up the sailor dress and put on the skirt and blouse. I had some trouble with the buttons on the blouse, but got it buttoned eventually. I went back to show mom and she said, they fit nicely too. I think you're right about the black tights instead of the white ones. Janet is just finishing her bath so go get ready for yours. I stripped to my panties and put on my nightgown, then went to take a bath. When I was done I got dressed in my nightgown, panties and slippers and went to watch TV. Did you enjoy your day, Lisa? asked my dad. Yes, very much so. I only wonder if I'll ever get to wear those other lovely outfits I got today. We have discussed this a lot before today. Lisa has been invited for the New Year's Day party and also to go roller skating when we visit your grandparents. That is why you have the two other outfits. Dad was smiling as he said this and Janet started jumping up and down clapping her hands. I got a big sister two more times. I knew then that my family loved me and would continue to love me no matter what happened. That night as I lay in the guest bed I held onto the card from Santa and repeated over and over, there is a Santa Claus, there is a Santa Claus. That's all for now. See you in the next video, till then take care. Oh yes, next part of this series will be published soon. So, please subscribe to my channel. And to get early access of the content visit my Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Eden07. Link in the comment and description.